Hello, my little analysts. So today is going to be the next part in our OPI color paint review series. Um, today we're going to be doing water marbling. We have done just a regular swatch video so far. We have gradient video, stamping video, and now we are on to the water marbling video. So what I'm going to do is just like with the other videos, I'm going to have one nail silver. I'm going to do one hollow and then one over white. And we are also going to do one over just your plain nail with a base coat on it. Um, I want to see how these look over each base. So we're going to go ahead and test this out. Um, I do have a whole video with a water marble design over hollow. If you want to go check that out. Um, I actually did this holographic polish, which is I Love Nail Polish Mega. And then what I did is I sponged Revlon's holographic pearls over it to like really make the hollow stand out. And let me tell you, it was stunning. I'll link that below if you guys want to check it out. So today, this is what we're going to be doing. Um, now, what you're going to need is obviously your base polishes, which I just showed you. You're going to need your base coat, which I am going to be using opi's natural nail base coat it is my favorite it definitely prevents staining for me you're also going to need your polishes <laughs> so we have these here now as far as cups to water marble in i think i finally found my holy grail water marble cup i've gone through a couple trying to figure out um which one i like and i think i finally figured out my favorite one this is what it looks like. It has a cap on it. It's a really heavy glass. It's like a mini mason jar. So um, basically I used to water marble. I started out water marbling with these, these little Dixie cups. They're really thin and really light. So basically when I would, you know how when you do your design, you have to hold on to the cup. Well, any movement like I would make, I mean, even if it was just regular, like, you know, twitches, if you don't have a steady hand, the water would move around it would just mess everything up so i wanted something more heavy okay so then what i did was i moved on to this now this is really cool i guess it's kind of a has suction top so you know you can like i like to just keep my water in here i don't because it's, I use room temperature filtered water, you know, I have a gallon of it. And after every single time I use it, I'm not gonna throw the water out if I cleaned it up correctly, you know? So I like the ones with tops on it because it prevents dust and all that stuff from getting into my water, you know, until I choose to change my water out, which normally it could be a couple, um, you know, nails. Like normally I'm not gonna change it right away. I'll go maybe two manicures without changing the water if I cleaned it up properly um, you know so I like the ones with the tops on it but this one it's so big it was a little too wide for me and it still wasn't heavy like I want it so I have officially found my holy grail cup for water marbling and what these are this is the brand I got these from Target they were so cheap four of them for four dollars they were a dollar a piece they're really heavy i mean i wish you guys could see they're a really heavy glass jar okay um ball i guess is the brand and they're just little mini mason jars and this is what they look like without the water in it. and i'm these are heavy they're perfect you know, whenever I have to hold on to the cup or move the cup, the water doesn't squish all over the place. It doesn't mess up my design. These are perfect. And there's four of them. Come on. If you need to do, if you're like really in a rush or something, you can do four different designs at once. Perfect. Or if you're like me and you like to do decals, you can set up four at a time. And, you know, because with decals, you do your design in the cup. You let it dry fully for like a half an hour to 45 minutes. You take it out, cut it, stick it on your nail, right? So with these, you can actually do four of them at the same time. Okay, I'm rambling. I'm sorry, but I am excited about my new cup. And also, you know, the problem with the other one was the base was too wide for me. So this is just absolutely 
perfect. I am excited and I love it. Um, what I ended up doing, I had gotten two, two of these things. Um, so what I actually did with one of them is I store my latex in it. Sometimes, okay, I like to put my latex on with a nail art brush. I have one that is specifically for that because they get all messed up. So sometimes when I really want to get like close into my cuticles, instead of using it with the nail polish bottle, I dump some of it in here so I can just dip my brush in there and then put it on. And because it has the seal on the top, the latex doesn't dry out. I have a huge like 32 ounce tub of my latex. So this is also nice, you know, to not have to pull out that huge tub anytime I need to refill. I could just refill from this. So. I didn't just waste these other Tupperwares. They did come to use for me, and this is what I'm gonna be using them for. I don't know why I'm telling you guys all this stuff. I just like to be really detailed. So the next thing you're going to need is your water marble tool. This is my pure color number seven water marble tool. I got this from Cassette Nail Shop. You can also you can also get it from What's Up Nails, but they were completely sold out. So I just did a little Google search and I found this one. Shipping was really quick and I love it. Next up, you will need your, your liquid latex. I like always will leave a link below for mine. It is a DIY, uh, extremely cheap compared to these 10, $20 bottles out here. I ended up paying less than 50 cents per bottle. Come on guys, watch the video, I'll link it below. And it's gold, and it's hollow, and metallic, and you will see how beautiful it is. So you are going to need something to protect your cuticles with. You can use tape, liquid latex like I'm using. You can use whatever works for you, okay? You're going to need some tweezers, a little mini pair of scissors, because you're going to put your latex all the way around your finger, so it's easy to just cut up the back and then take it off. You will need... A cleanup brush mine as always is from twinkle tea this is the number two very little really allows you to get into your cuticles love it it's my favorite it's just perfect and that's pretty much it guys so I'm gonna go ahead and put my base on my nails I'll show you guys that and it's gonna be the same as with my other videos I'm gonna be doing the hollow on my ring finger We'll do two coats of this. So we'll let that one dry and then we'll move on to the next coat. I am gonna be putting silver on my middle finger, the silver that came in the collection. I already have a base coat down by the way. I already put that on. And we're gonna do white on the ring finger. Okay, my favorite white polish. The silver only needed one coat, by the way. And by this time, that ring finger should be okay enough to go in with your second coat of hollow. So there we go. We're gonna grab our liquid latex. And as you know, with water marble, you need to cover the whole finger. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. I'll speed through this part. I'll be right back. I'm only gonna do this finger first because I only like to do one, des one design at a time with water marbling. I don't like to have all four of my fingers with the latex on at the same time. I feel handicapped when I do that. So we will do one at a time. But it's up to you. If you wanna dip all four fingers at the same time, that's up to you. I am going to do a different design on each finger so that we can see just how easy these polishes are to maneuver in the water. All latexed up, I'm gonna let that dry and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so as you can see, my liquid latex has finished drying. How gorgeous is that? Seriously, it's absolutely beautiful. Less than 50 cents a bottle. It works, it's effective, it doesn't get any better than that, okay? And I also have all of my polishes lined up around my cup. So we are gonna start forming our bullseye and let's see how these water marble. 
If you guys want a full tutorial on water marbling, on water marbling, I do have one. I will leave it linked down below in case you're interested. And this video is just a review of these polishes, so I'm not going to go into detail on how to do this. You can see I'm just dropping the polishes into the water in the order that I want, and I'm forming my bullseye. And I am just going to do two of each. As you can see, you can see just how beautiful these spread out. I mean, tuh, they are gorgeous. They are gorgeous. I'm gonna take my water marble tool. I have my wipe here to go ahead and wipe off after each drag through the water. And for this one, I am just gonna do my basic flower design, okay? These are just honestly guys, it does not get any better than this. I have tried many polishes with water marbling and guys, I have never had a polish water marble this perfectly ever. And I have tried many, okay? And I already see exactly where I would like to dip. I'm going to get my orange stick ready. And I am actually using an orange stick. I am going to try to build up a lollipop like I've seen so many people do. So this is actually the very start of my lollipop, okay? Which is when people... If you don't know what a lollipop is, it's when people build up all of their... When they pick up their water marble and they build it up on one stick and it turns into like a lollipop head. So I'm gonna go ahead, I see exactly where I wanna dip my finger, right here. Dip. And then we're gonna blow on the polish to clean up the excess. Then these also clean up out of the water very well. See how easy that was? Pull my finger out. I didn't exactly get it where I wanted it, but that is it over the hollow. I'm gonna take a picture so you guys can see close up at the end, okay? Yeah, I wanted to, to get a little bit more over here on my nail, but that's okay, it's still beautiful. And you can see just how easily that cleaned up out of the water. So I need to let this dry a little bit and then I will go ahead and take off the latex and we'll see the result. Okay guys, so this has dried enough for me to remove it. I'm gonna take my little scissors and what I like to do is just kind of cut up the back of this. Very careful not to like cut yourself. But this is how I do it. I just cut up the back like that. And then I just go ahead and take my tweezers and start peeling this up on both sides. All right, and then I will take my tweezers and just pull it off. I'm gonna take my cleanup brush and just clean up a little bit here. And you can see just how, if you do get any on your cuticle, these just clean up so easily. I mean, I literally do not have a single flaw in these polishes. And there is the result of that nail. So now, I will do one more bullseye on camera, but I'm gonna speed through it. Otherwise, this video will be very long. I have to do four of these. And then the other two, I am not going to do on camera. I will just do the bullseye off camera and come back for the design. So let's get started here. Make sure the camera's good. And speed through this, like I said. Hey, God, guys, these are just so beautiful. <laughs> I 
I just can't even do. So again, I have my thing. Now this design, we are going to do kind of the opposite of the last one. And it's called, I call it a spider web. So instead of going in, we're gonna drag out first. We'll start with four and then do one in the middle of each of those. And then in the middle of each of these, you drag in. This is one of my favorite patterns. It's just so pretty and elegant. Okay, and then you just find out where you wanna dip at. I think I wanna go right here. And once again, look at how easy that pickup was. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. So now for these next designs, guys, I am just gonna form my bullseye off camera, come back on camera, show you the design, and we'll go from there. Oh, beautiful. And I am going to clean up really quick. Wow, the silver really brings those colors out. I didn't even... I thought that the hollow would bring them out more. You guys will see in the picture. It's kind of hard to see in the video, but I mean, you can definitely tell the silver really brings those colors out. That is gorgeous. So I'm gonna clean this up really quick and I'll be right back. All right, guys, there you go. Now, I don't think you can really see it. You'll definitely be able to tell in the picture. There you go. For some reason, this metallic silver bubbled up underneath and I'm not sure what happened. But besides that, it looks stunning. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my liquid latex off camera for my bullseye off camera, and then I'll be right back to show you guys the design. Okay guys, so I have my bullseye here. Now this design, for some reason, it my cup kind of like turned sideways. You know, it kind of got over there, so it's gonna be a little hard. But you basically just draw a line down the middle, and then you just do lines back and forth like this to get this design and I'm not sure what it's called, but you end up with something like this. So I got my little lollipop thing ready and I'm going to dip right here. All right, we're gonna blow on the polish and go ahead and clean up. see that over the white holy brightness wow that is stunning Whew. stunning guys stunning a little comparison for you now remember this nail is no base at all except for our base coat so I'm gonna let this dry for a second. We'll peel it off, clean up, and then we'll move on to this finger. Wow, I did a pretty good job of applying the latex that time. Not a single bit of polish on the skin. Wow. I just cannot get over how bright these look over this white. It's stunning. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the latex on this nail. Go ahead and form my bullseye, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so as you can see, my latex has dried on this finger. And for this design, it is actually going to be what I call like a curly cue, I guess. So you basically start it out like you do the web design, the same thing, okay? And then instead of leaving it, like this, you just take your in the middle take your tool and you just swirl it like that and then you get your cleanup stick ready I'm gonna dip your finger wherever you want I'm gonna go right here blow on the polish and then you take your stick and we clean it up and then you just pull your finger out. 
Wow, okay. So, given that this does not have a base, that did not come out too bad. <laughs> I mean, that actually does not look that bad. Given that there's nothing but a base coat on my nails. So, I'm going to let this dry really quick, clean up, and then I'll be right back to show you guys all four fingers together. We'll take some pictures, and yeah, I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys, so this is the end result. My personal favorite is the white. I mean, look at that. I thought it was going to be over the hollow, but I was wrong. It's definitely over the white. I mean, it's stunning. I definitely don't like them with no base. I mean, it's okay. They just look really kind of dull. Um, I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture right now so you guys can get a better idea of how these look really up close and personal. So yeah guys, that is going to be the end of this part of my OPI color paint review series. Next up we're going to do a pond kind of like peanut butter and jelly sandwich type. Um, it's just going to be a tutorial, it's not really reviewing them because we already did the swatches and that's basically this is going to be doing swatches, seeing how well they layer I guess. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. And again, if you guys haven't checked out the other videos in this series, like the swatches or seeing if they stamp, how well they do gradients, go ahead and check them out. I'll leave them linked down below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it gave you some insight on how amazing these are at water marbling. Come on, they're stunning. I've never ever had a polish that water marbled so well. So, yeah, guys, let me know what you think down below. I love you. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And bye bye. Don't play no games. Don't pretend on it. You gon' stop with me. We gon' end on it. Let me do, baby. All the things I said I wouldn't do.